In this video guys we shall be taking a look at the newest addition to the Fast and Furious franchise Fast X so without further ado let's get into the 10th installment into the Fast and Furious franchise so without further ado let's get into this review. So I thought then that this movie was great. I thought this movie in the Fast and Furious franchise is getting a lot of hate for no particular reason as I watched it. I loved it, it was enjoyable, it was super fun. It, it brought it back to what Fast and Furious used to be before the failures of Fast and Furious 8 and the, and the failures of Fast and Furious 9. And I think it just took it back a little bit to what it needed to, to do. And that is having a really compelling villain, having a really cool story based around family and the Toretto's. And I think that actually worked more in this movie's favour than ever before and I think a lot of that boils down to the, the levels of threat that this new villain Dante poses and I think on Dante I thought he was a great villain, he was nasty, he was horrible and targeted something not a lot of um, villains have done in which they probably should have which was target Dom's family as that is like the core of keeping him ticking and the thing that he falls back on when he has bad times and things that people always fall on when when everyone goes through hard times is family and if he attacks that his family his friends that is his weakness it can be his strength but it can also be his weakness and I like how John T is th is full of a, a threat and poses a threat as he wants revenge on what he did to his father in Fast Five. And I think that that cool little story taking it back to another film to to go to this one, I didn't think would work, but it did. On John T as well, I feel that Jason Momoa's villain actually had a plan for a plan. So when a plan went down, he had a backup plan and a backup plan for that. And we see this throughout the whole movie that this is somebody with a super mind, super intelligent mind, and he's planning ahead, planning meticulously so that, oh, if this plan doesn't work, we've got another plan. And that seems to be the theme that, that Dom's falling into in this movie. It's like a huge mousetrap that he's getting stuck in in every different possibility. And I feel that a lot of this is down to the fragmentation of the family. And I feel that the fragmentation of the family is that all the members, all the extra members aren't with Dom this time. They're trying to find their own journeys to get meet back up together. We see Roman become a natural leader in this movie with his little group with Taj. We see it with, with his group with Ramsey and, and Han. And we're seeing a little cool bond there between all four of those characters. And we have seen that for a few movies with them four in general. Uh, maybe not Han, maybe just those three, Roman, Taj and Ramsey. But now Han in the mixer, I think that was really cool. Then you've obviously got uh, Jacob and Dom's son uh, in their little group, their road trip towards going to the safe house, keeping Dom's son safe. And I feel that that was a really cool, funny road trip. I think you had some good connections as well. I forgot to mention with Taj and uh, with Roman. I think them two really bounced off each other. Like we see in the whole of the franchise, probably from like the fifth or fourth movie onwards, we really got to see their character development develop really, really nicely into one of the best partnerships in the Fast franchise. But no, I think uh, going back to, to Jacob and Dom's son, I felt it was funny. People might not like that, but I felt both of them really attributed to, to the action and the funniness and the comedy side of things that disappears towards the one uh, towards the back end of the movie when it becomes more serious and the jokes sort of stop. And that's the, that's the thing I like about this movie is sort of like the meter where it becomes like oh this this problem we we're going to solve like any normal problem to being a problem now where it is unfixable people are actually going to be in danger people are in danger of death like we see with unfortunately jacob in which ends up sacrificing his life to save vin diesel's character dom in which was quite an emotional moment to say the least as to me i didn't think that that scene if i'd have gone into the cinemas beforehand and said that that Jacob's character, uh, Jacob, would get killed off, and it's going to be quite emotional and quite upsetting. However, it was, and I didn't think I would 
feel that for that character because in nine he was shit let's be honest jacob i think his character weren't brilliant he didn't he weren't good as a villain and john cena can't really play a villain like let's say jason momoa can in this movie let's be honest however i feel that in this movie doing the thing that he's good at being a comedian and things like that i thought he was good and he gained a bond on the fast movie in that short space of time in this movie that you're like okay he gets killed off and it actually means something fair enough I feel from that moment on that the movie got more serious but I, the problem i do have with john cena's um jacob is that the character development from nine till ten doesn't quite make sense and he's a bit of a plot gap in there which is one minute is a villain and he gains a little bit of trust back from dom at the end of nine but now he's like best mates with him and he's like the cool uncle that that you know i didn't think could just make that switch this guy killed dom's father and now he's suddenly been allowed back in to the family like this happy uncle i didn't really get that and i think maybe that might get patched up later down the line and i hope it does because it is a sticks out a bit like a sore thumb but i did like john cena in this one i felt it was funny helped grow the characters between the character development between him and uh, dom's son i felt it was enjoyable on the fragmentation i thought letty and cypher uh, in the prison was really really good and i didn't think letty would get on with cypher considering the history with the families and i i did like the little to and fro him then letty comes back and realizes that she can't leave the prison without without cypher i thought that was really cool and i think their development's going to be coming in the next movie a bit bit more and i think she that, that, that cypher will eventually join the family that's what we normally see that these villains become heroes and join the family that's sort of what's going to happen i think i also love the cliffhanger ending in which was what i expected probably from watching this movie finding out that there was a fast x part two i feel that it was always going to ha happen having this cliffhanger ending to make you want to go and watch the next movie and i think it was a perfect opportunity to do it uh because we haven't seen that since i think it was fast and furious 4 where they're about to take down the prison truck uh to, to save dom and i think same can be said here i think it really worked as dom looked like he had just escaped from uh the control of jason momoa's character however when those detonations on the side of the dam look lit up it looks like it could be the end for vin diesel's character dom and his son but we shall wait and see what happens in the next movie one of the final things that i really enjoyed about this is the hobbs return in the end credit scene i think it wasn't expected because of the apparent beef that vin diesel has with the rock dwayne johnson however i think they might have patched it up and just said come on back for the part two at least and i think that's probably going to happen now and i think it'll be great it'll be sort of like a great ending for the character finally then i thought that the actors and actresses were really good and he's probably one of the most star-studded cast you will ever see in a movie as we saw the likes of vin diesel jason momoa michelle rodriguez brie larson john cena uh therese gibson jason statham soon kang charlie theron uh, jordana brewster D daniela michelia natalia emmanuel uh ludicrous helen marin alan richardson and rita morena plus many many more including dwayne the rock johnson to summarize one of the better fast and furious movies we've seen in the past years that we've uh, likes of eight and nine were very poor seven was overrated in my opinion and i don't think we've seen a movie like this since four five and six in which was the peak fast and furious in my opinion hence why i've rated this movie a 7.8 and a world-class film so let me know down in the comments down below what your thoughts is it good is it bad is it terrible is it the best film you've ever seen let me know down in the comments down below please also i've noticed not enough people have been hitting that subscribe button so hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell hit that like button i shall see you guys in the next one Later.